So it's been a full year now since DJI has released their Osmo Action. And for those that aren't familiar with this camera, it is an action camera, but I pretty much use it for an all-purpose type of camera. Now, action cameras in general have been around for a while now, but DJI, when they released this one, pretty much implemented a lot of the features that we liked and wanted to see in a small compact camera. And that's where we got the Osmo Action. So in this video, I just wanna to talk to you guys about some of the main features I've really enjoyed about the Osmo Action. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Astacio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now note everything in this video is really based on my experience and how I use this camera, which is more of an all purpose type of camera. There's definitely a lot of different types of users out there. They're gonna need it for one or two specific types of needs. This might be the one for them or there might be other action cameras out there that might satisfy some of those specific needs. So just know there's not one camera that's best for everyone's situation. I'm just gonna be talking to you about why I've enjoyed and have been using the Osmo Action the most this past year. Also, if you have an Osmo Action or an action camera in general, well, PGY Tech actually gave this to me to give out to one of you guys. It's really an action camera accessories kit. Comes with a case, a couple of clips, a little mini tripod, a silicone gel holder actually for the Osmo Action. So if you don't have this, you can actually still use all of the other ones. But we'll talk a little bit more about this one and I'll be giving this away at the end of the video. Now, of course, when DJI released an action camera, you're gonna be comparing this to a lot of other action cameras that are currently on the market. Now, it's kind of crazy to think after a full year, they did a bunch of firmware updates on this and to get rid of some of those little kind of bugs that a lot of people had some issues with when they first released it. They got rid of that delay on here. So if you're shooting in 4K at 30, there would be some sort of about a, about a half a second or a quarter second delay between what you're seeing in front of the camera versus what you're seeing on the back of the screen. Another thing was audio. So if you wanted to add something external, they came out now with the adapter here that allows you to hook up something like this. I have a full rig on here, PGY Tech case, a DD mic, and then now you have that audio adapter that allows you to now hook up a 3.5 millimeter to your Osmo Action. They also updated a bunch of shooting options in here like hyperlapse and HDR. So with those additions, as well as all the firmware updates, this thing pretty much is now what I like to just call not just an action camera, but just really like an all purpose type of camera. Now I have a bunch of videos on my channel going through all of those features in more detail. So if you guys wanna see those, make sure you guys check above as well as down below. In this video, I just wanna to talk to you guys about some of the top features I've really liked after using the Osmo Action for the past year. Now the first feature I wanna talk about is the dual screens. Now you have a nice large two and a quarter inch color screen on the very back, but not just that, all you have to do is either double tap or press and hold that side button and now that screen and that video feed is on the very front of your camera. Now for me, for what I use it for, I use it for, like I said, an all purpose type of camera. So I'm gonna be doing everything from shooting behind the scenes, having it in something like this, which is the PGY Tech grip, and I'll be vlogging with it like that. This also has like a mini tripod, so I'll be able to put this down. Now that screen is a big deal if you wanna have it. Like I said, for me as an all-purpose type of camera, I have a family, I have three kids. I like to not only shoot a video of them and myself, but I also like to give this camera to them and they're actually able to do their own style vlogs if they wanted to do it. Now that front screen is 1.4 inches full color. And the big thing about this thing is that it's not necessarily needed if you're gonna be mounting it to something. So if you're mounting it onto a car or you're mounting it onto like a surfboard or anything like that, it definitely helps because what it does is it gives you a way to position yourself and compose your shot. Now, if you, even if I'm from far away, just like that, I can still see myself in the middle of the screen if I wanted to move over a little bit and put myself into one of the thirds of the video because I wanted this open area. You're now able to see all of that through the camera with this front screen. And what's nice about that front screen too is that you have all that information, how much time you have left, how much battery, what frame rate you're shooting at, what size you're shooting at, are you recording or not? So everything is there. You can nice and easy to see. And if you wanted to switch it from, you know, a vlog style just like this, and you wanted to go back to shooting back to this way, all you do is press and hold that button. And then now you have this large screen on the very back to compose your shot if you're gonna be walking around just like this. A lot of companies out there don't even have a front screen or if they do, you have to buy a full mod set to put on so you have multiple attachments. Here, that front screen is already built into it and not even that, everything is fully waterproof. So just the way it is, I'm able to use this out in the open, all weather, waterproof, and I do have a front screen here I don't have to worry about 
having to put on any attachments or disassemble the camera. Now, if you do things like action sports or even just basic vlogging, every, even when you're vlogging, you're gonna be moving around a little bit. You're gonna get all those shakes in here. They have what they call Rocksteady, which is their version of image stabilization. And here's some video I shot just showing you how well the image stabilization works running around with my daughter, chasing her on her scooter, as well as just doing some basic walking and talking vlog style setups. Because even those, when you're walking around, you'll still introduce a lot of camera shake on here. So I just wanna show you guys what it looks like with that stabilization off, as well as with Rocksteady on. Now this next feature on the Osmo Action is one that I pretty much love the most, and that is the quick switch button here on the left hand side. Now I know it's not like a sexy type of marketing thing where you know stabilization is kind of the, the king and the resolutions and all that, but having a physical button here that you're pressing to quickly switch from different modes that you can preset has been probably my all time favorite feature of this camera. So if you shoot in multiple resolutions, you shoot in 4K at 30, 4K at 60 or 24, you also do things like slow motion or your person that goes out there and shoots a lot of time lapse, you're able to set all of your favorite types of shooting modes here inside of the app. So there's a lot of times I'm out there with my family shooting and I'll do some basic video, shoot at 4K at 60 or 4K at 30. All of a sudden I wanna switch it to possibly like a slow motion. So if I wanna get some slow motion video, all I have to do now is quickly click on that side button. Now I'm in slow motion mode where I'll be shooting somewhere like 1080 at 120 or 1080 at 240. So for me, that button is pretty much my all time favorite feature of this camera. I think once you start shooting in a bunch of different either resolutions or frame rates, having the ability to quickly switch and see everything here on this nice big screen. And also, even if you're doing everything in selfie mode, so if you're on that front screen right there, I can now still click through and see all of my quick settings right there. Now, next thing I like about this camera is just the way it's built. It feels rock solid in your hands. But not just that, but the camera alone, without any housing, it already is weather and waterproof. So you don't have to worry about dropping this or using this in the ocean or in your pool. The way it comes out of the box, you don't have to put an extra case on it. It already is waterproof. Now, along with that build quality, a lot of features that I really like about it, like I said earlier, is you actually have physical buttons here to press, which makes it really easy, especially if you're underwater or you're in elements where you have gloves on. Having these larger physical buttons feel really good. And small things like even the battery compartment, some of the other action cameras out there make it very difficult to even get your battery out. They did something here which is very unique and they added a very strong spring at the very bottom. So even if you don't have like tiny fingernails to get these uh, batteries out, you have two switches here which pretty much unlatch and then the battery pretty much pops out. So you don't have to worry about trying to grab a little flap or trying to knock this thing out of here. These are smaller things that you don't really think about until you keep doing it every day, using it all the time. Some things like that just make it very, very simple. And I think that's what the Osmo Action has. They do a lot of those small things really well. And of course, there's always room for improvement for other things, but definitely things that you use the most I think they made very, very simple on this. And the next feature I like about this camera is pretty much all the features that it has. It has all of the resolutions and the frame rates that you're gonna want, 4K at 34K at 24, 60, as slow motion. So you also have 1080p at 120 as well as 240. And you even have things like hyperlapse as well as even HDR video, which is still fairly new. They have it here as well. So HDR video is another popular one that a lot of new cameras now are starting to come out with. So tons of features, tons of resolutions that you would anticipate being on here. All of that is on the Osmo Action. And lastly, one of the features I like about the DJI Osmo Action is that not only do they come out with a lot of their own DJI accessories for it, but there's a ton of third party ones as well. So if you wanted to use this as like your main vlog rig, say you didn't want to like put this on a surfboard or anything like that, and you wanted this as your main vlog rig, PGY Tech has a case that has cold shoe mounts as well as another side mount right here if you want to add a light. Sonova has an external audio adapter, so if you wanted to use the USB-C to a 3.5 mil, you're able to now hook up things like this, which allow you to put on an external audio microphone. So now if you hook it up like this and you wanted like your main vlog rig, if that's something that you do for your channel, here you have, you know, the switch pod at the bottom. I have a Joby head right here. I have the PG wide tech case, DD mic, Sonova, 
adapter. So I mean, depending on what you do, they have pretty much all the accessories you're gonna need for your Osmo Action. Now, of course, no camera is perfect. There's a couple things I'd like to see possibly on some future versions of this camera. The first thing is the field of view. Even though it does have a very wide field of view, I think it would have been nice to gone even wider, or at least give the option to go a little bit wider. Another feature would be nice if that I didn't have to deal with something like this, which is the adapter, and I can just plug a mic directly into the camera itself. That definitely would be a nice little feature to have on an update. And there it is, guys. Just a bunch of features I wanted to highlight of why I've loved the Osmo Action for the past year. And now back to the giveaway. This is from PGY Tech. It's a travel set for your action camera. Like I said, it's branded for the Osmo Action, but it definitely will work on a lot of your other ones. And on my channel, giveaways are pretty simple to enter. All you have to do is, of course, like the video. And in the comment section down below, let me know what is the main feature you are looking for in an action camera. I like to know what that number one feature is you guys look for in a camera. Is it the high specs, the 4K at 60? Is it slow motion? Is it being waterproof? Or are you a vlogger? Do you look for something like this where you want to have that 3.5 inch jack so you don't deal with an adapter? Uh, do you want to use this for you know all purpose like I do where I use it with my family as well as my behind the scenes footage? pretty much my all around type of camera. Let me know in the comments section down below what is that number one feature you look for when you're searching for an action camera. I'll be picking a winner within the first 48 hours of this video going live. So if you've come after that, sorry about that. Make sure you guys check out the video description to see if you won or not. That's why it's important for you guys also to have that notification bell turned on so you guys don't miss any new videos that I post. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.